Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hi. I'm Meredith, and I'm with the lovely Jamie. Thank you. <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm not wearing um, makeup, we, so that really helps the ego. <laughs> I'm, I'm barely wearing makeup, so it's okay. <laughs> you look it's a very special uh, rosé for a video where two tired girls are going to react to some lace market listings. Um, as we all know, lace market is a booming secondhand market for all types of Lolita. You can basically find anything on lace market these days. You could have a whole wardrobe of stuff you bought from lace market. Like me. Yeah. Or add <laughs> swap meets. Lace market or swap meets. That's how I got my yes. Oh yeah, swap meets are the best, man. Literally. All bets are off. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. One girl sold me, at a, at a swap meet, one girl sold me the dress off her back. Literally. Oh my gosh. She, Are you serious? She took it off and sold it to me. Oh yeah. My that was like the craziest thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> that is so funny. I know. I was like, I love that dress. I wish I had Did it. She, she was like, Do you want it? She's like, she's like unzipping it. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Literally, the best part is like, you know, you're wearing a petticoat, bloomers, and a blouse. So it was like no big deal. And she just put on a dress she just bought, but it was pretty funny. Oh, that's amazing. It worked out perfectly. That's so funny. Right? Since Lace Market is so popular, you, you definitely can't look at it without seeing some uh, very questionable listings. So true. And I have done the Lord's work of compiling some of my favorites today. <laughs> and <laughs> we're gonna I'm we're so gonna look, we're gonna cringe. Um, I will say here that uh, I'm not here to dox anybody. I'm not here to make fun of the people who made the listings. So all identifying information is gone. Some of these are just absurd. Some of them are just funny, and I'm like, no, <laughs> no shade against you, but like, this is funny. You can sell whatever you want. And I have the right to say, hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> so with that in mind. <laughs> Should we get into it? Let's get into it. This, this first oh listing gosh. is for 106, plus or minus, give or take. I don't know. But it could be 106. <laughs> 106 brand tags and as you can see that's so funny <laughs> wait 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 why the plus or minus sign when so, later they say there's at least 106 i don't know because that's like a specific number to be like oh yeah this is a ballpark right? they should like, have just they must have gone through they must have gone through counting at some point and then they got like a couple new things and were just like threw it in and then they come back and they're like, I'm not counting this. It's at least 106. I mean, last time I sat and counted my brand tags. <laughs> Literally. That's a <laughs> lot of tags. I just throw them away. Am ton. I weird for that? <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I, I do keep my angelic pretty tags because I like to collect those, but most other things I do, I do not bother. I mean, these tags definitely would be good for crafts. Um, I know. I'm just trying to think of what kind of craft involves 106 brand tags. Yeah, it's a lot. <gasps> yeah. Did you just and it's food? like, yeah, Tanner just brought me some leftover pizza. <laughs> Love that. Pretty psyched right now, but. Hello. <laughs> uh, Lace Market reacts and ASMR. <laughs> Lazy Market Reacts and uh, yeah, Abo's Pizza Mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hanging on to these since I got into Lolita, and at this point, they're they ain't just taking up space. I'm sorry, I'm gonna call <laughs> out your typo. If you're gonna sell me 106 brand tags, you better spell. You better be spelling. <laughs> you're selling a product here. I'm including whatever was in the bag, so not all of them are strictly Lolita brands. Oh, okay. We got some spice in there. We got some spice. I have no idea what to ask for these. So feel free to make an offer. I have an offer. Nothing. Because they're <laughs> tags. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like just charging for shipping. 
it sounds fair. Yeah, maybe. If it's like, yeah, if you want these, like, I'm not going to pay money to send them to you. So you take care of that. Exactly. But it's like... Like, those are mm. literally tags. It's so Just, funny because I'm not... It's really nothing against this particular person, too, because there are so many listings like this of, like, people selling AP tags. And I'm just like, you guys, these aren't valuable. Like, <laughs> this is cardstock. There you is paper. <laughs> low-key print one. Like, you really could. If you had, like, a nice <laughs> printer, you could make your own AP tags. Maybe. Get yourself a cricket. You got this. Get yourself... <laughs> <laughs> Lace Market Reacts, get yourself a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. That's the tagline. Get yourself a cricket. I know. Get yourself a cricket. I mean. What's particularly offensive to me is the body line tags. Yes. Nobody, nobody wants that. Right? Well, and so it, I, I really think it's funny that they're like, well, they're not all Lolita. And I'm like, I really want to know, like, what else would I, would I get? Yeah, if it looks Alita. like it looks like there's some Disney ones in there. Wow! In the bottom Thanks. right corner. Yeah. Wow! So value. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna say, Jamie and I are both off work, and literally, all bets are kind of off right now. <laughs> We're both very tired people. Tired girls. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really digging into these, these listings yeah. here. But again, no tea to the people themselves. I'm just here to clown. Are we, should we move on? I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Sorry. I did it too fast. No, it's all good. That was how I showed you I was ready. I know you're, you showed me with, your with action, hands. with action. I'm all action. brand shopping bags and flyers for DIY. I like the flyers. I feel like that's slightly mm -hmm. better. And they're only selling for seven euros. So eight bucks. Better than twenty seven. Twenty one. You're right. Whatever. This is this is less questionable for sure. I do like um. the little <laughs> flyers, but the bags it's a lot. The bags are like that's a lot of AP bags, and I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret. AP bags are made of plastic. And they're made of the same plastic that is used to make other bags. So it's it's plastic. You don't have to keep it. What? You don't. <laughs> I know, I'm really sorry. Like, if I want these AP bags, all I have to pay is 35, 31 euro shipping. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. Dude, for paper, <laughs> you would think it'd be less. I can't even be bothered to sell my body line online because I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's not even worth it. It's not anytime worth going I sell, to the post office. Legit. Anytime I sell body line, unless it's like a heavy like coat or something, I put it at like $1 start. And I just let people decide the value for me because yeah. I'm like... It's body line. <laughs> Literally. And no tea, no shade of body line. It's just cheap material, cheaply made. That's... So, on? yes, let's move on. Absolutely, because I can't wait to talk about this. Oh my gosh, I remember seeing this one. We this have for you so today. Funny. Okay, so when... I don't know if this perfume came out like at the exact same time that the um, print came out, but I guess they released a perfume to go along with the Missy Sky print, which is like one of my favorite prints. But <laughs> some someone on Lace Market is selling it for five hundred dollars. It's a bottle of perfume. So, Ernesto, my partner, gave me some information on this. Apparently, it's illegal okay. to ship perfume. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's, yeah, so there's certain liquids. <laughs> if you didn't know, <laughs> so they're like, you cannot. Yeah, that's not even, yeah, the $500 price tag is not even the worst part about this listing. You literally cannot mail perfume along with other things like butane i think is one of them and like yeah there's a few things that you cannot you can't 
So I'm like $500 for the paralegal who has to represent you after you oh my God, shipped perfume. <laughs> Literally. Here's my favorite part. My favorite part is this part of the description here. Let me read it for you. Samples. I can send a one milliliter sample if you want to know what it smells like from my own personal bottle, not this one. $20 in a small glass vial. Free shipping, though. <laughs> free shipping. I mean, we got free shipping. you can't go wrong. <laughs> Do shipping. one mil. That's like nothing. Feel free to message me about it. <laughs> Dude, this person said, <laughs> I don't care if I break the law. I got to get the people the perfume. But is it illegal just to ship it or is it illegal to hmm. receive it too? Like, is this person setting somebody up know. for low key? I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? The like, questions. that's such a. They're. Yeah, I mean, this this video has a lot more questions than it does answers, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I can so, see it. Oh my gosh. Um, there, was, there was a loud noise just now. I apologize. My kid just knocked down something in the kitchen. Classic. I don't kid. know what it was, but I heard crash and then I just heard her running out. Oh my gosh. Well, at least she so, got her own, her own karma right there on the she, silver platter. She did. She did. All right, so this next segment is, um, girl, do not sell that edition. <laughs> Dude. Because first we've got some body line pink. I, they, they must be pink. It says in the listing. Socks. Bobby socks with normal wear on the soles. That's not normal wear. Okay. I'm sorry. At least not for yeah. me. It's not normal wear. My socks do not look like this. And I have had I, white socks too. Yes. Like I, and I'm not nice to my socks. Like I wear them <laughs> and I'll walk around the apartment without like slippers and like I'll go outside, like I'll take out the trash and I'll like <laughs> get packages inside and I'll wear my socks. They do not look like this. Like what happened? I feel like this is something that maybe should have been given to a friend who's into Lolita. So. Who doesn't have enough stuff yet. Maybe, right? Like, How much was it have, selling for? I don't think it was a lot. So I think okay. it was like five to ten bucks or else I would have I would have saved the price. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know like, what the free gift. Well, free <laughs> gift with every purchase. It's like a Tide Pod. <laughs> <laughs> or like the Tide Pen. Some oxy clean. It's like, girl, you're gonna need it. <laughs> Dude, if your socks look like this, don't sell them. If your socks look like this, you can and should throw them away. Just, <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't even say give this to a friend. Like, yeah. I don't give this to someone you like. <laughs> I'm sorry, but don't sell your gross socks. Don't do yeah, it. Yeah, it's <laughs> not it. It's not it. I will admit, like, you can't see the damage as much in these pictures, like. But definitely yeah. the colors are so worn, right? And yeah, like, that's true. This one's not nearly as bad, but. Yeah, definitely not. <sighs> I think if you're selling them though, and they're they have like wear and tear that's that noticeable, like thirty dollars is pretty much like standard for AP socks. And it's like th this didn't even sell at thirty dollars. This is the first bidder on the auction. Oh man! So Are these, like a uh, highly sought after or something? I don't really know, like. If anyone wants to drop in the comments if Whip Border OTKs are like the socks that everyone wants right now, like let me know. But like to me, <laughs> and I love Angelic Pretty, um, these are just some white and pink striped socks that look yeah, old. They do look old. It just says a lot to me about how lace market is these days. Like like you said, Jamie, $30 is about what to expect for brand new, like, socks. 
Yeah. And people are selling them for like 50 to like, I've seen people bid $70 on socks on Lace Market. Holy like, moly. You could buy a JSK for $70. I know. Or at least That's like true. start saving for one, right? Like, yeah. oh my goodness. One of my meta yeah. ones was 75. So I, I think that these socks represent <gasps> normal wear better than the last ones. I think so too. Yeah, because like this is what socks look like eventually, and that's okay. What I, I'm arguing that you shouldn't be selling them for $30, but yeah. this person didn't, you know, I don't know, stomp on coals in their socks. Like, what, <laughs> what was that person doing? <laughs> Sorry, but what were you doing? That's I just want to know. Yeah, this next one is pretty juicy. Um, this is Bro. one of my favorites here. Mm, so. This person decided, and these, um, this screenshot only shows like two dresses, but they, at the time, were posting a ton of dresses for sale, right? Yeah. A ton of like AP JSKs. And they were all listed as rare, authentic, which is like kind of the first red flag. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's sus. Why are you putting authentic? Dude, it's all supposed to be authentic. What do you mean? Especially. Especially for these dresses, like, I don't think these are very rare. Heavenly Cross, yeah. I would say Sugar Dream Dome, maybe. Maybe. But I feel yeah. like Heavenly Cross isn't... I mean, I've never looked for it. I mean, but... I've seen Sugar Dream Dome come up more than once. So that's why I'm like, maybe... I don't know, like, how rare this really is. But, like, they, they put rare in every listing. Basically, a lot of these dresses were listed as brand new with tags. Um, and in this particular instance, um, in the description for the item, it had been said that the fabric tag in the back of the dress was ripped off. Oh, uh, who does that? <laughs> so that to me is like... I don't know! Like, So that's the context for this whole thing, okay? So the top here, I guess I should have color coded these. I apologize, <laughs> but so the top one here, we'll figure it out. The top one here is the seller though. When I purchased it originally, I removed the angelic pretty tag and tossed it since I tried it on once. I did not know at the time that the tag was so important. <laughs> yeah, you did. You listed it brand new with tags. And then someone said, your listing literally says brand new with tags, lol. <laughs> the seller says, I will correct the listing. Thank you for pointing this out. <laughs> and then someone goes, this person's angry. You removed a fabric tag that sewed into it? <laughs> and you literally say this in your listing, brand new with tags and unworn. I'm like... What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is where, this is the juicy part, right? So it goes, she, the seller says, yes, it was itchy for me. I was correcting the listing. Thank you for pointing this out. Or I will correct the listing. I'm sorry. And then they say, how was it itchy if the dress was unworn? <laughs> I have like issues with uncomfortable clothing. That's why... Mm -hmm. I like casual Lolita because I, I can't be OTT. That's why I had to leave Decora. It's just not it for me. Same. Same. I would never cut out an, an angelic pretty tag off of a dress. And I mean, it's I your clothes. Know. Do what you want. But then to list it as brand new with tags. Like, like, what are you doing? And then to put authentic when the tag isn't even in it. Like, that whole situation just seems super sus. I think it's funny that people called them out though. We've got three, we've got four more listings, okay? But the, okay. the next three have a theme and the theme is why would you spend that much on that thing? Okay. Um, so it's Baby the Starshine Bright, Dancing Baby Bear, Baby JSK, and Casey Set in Pink. Oh um, man. The, the, the bidding starts at $500. And the buy it now price is eight hundred and twenty dollars. Wait, I did not realize that that is where it started. Yes, no, bidding starts at five hundred dollars. If you want to buy it now, you pay eight hundred and twenty. Oh, so, I'm sorry, but this dress is not worth that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and say I, there is no dress at, at all besides maybe a dress worn by Momoko in Kamikaze Girls. Like, that would be worth this much money, right? That's a lot. I there. I you should see some of the bidding wars for some Watie pieces. Those okay, get I'll, I'll, ridiculous. Um, I don't have that at all. But I'm I'm like in my sweet bubble. I'm like Watie. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah that exists. There's some really opulent, over the top dresses that I would right. like. You might buy it for a grand, so. 800 like maybe is reasonable but this dress is so bare bones like and i mean i guess if it's super rare i get it but i also i kind of hate the dress so maybe i'm just biased <laughs> at least it comes with the kc set it comes with the kc it comes with the kc <laughs> i mean at so... least there's that <laughs> i just saw the price for that yeah, yeah, I don't know what's happening, right? Like, people, like... Oh okay. my god! Okay, okay. <laughs> this jewelry... This jewelry... Is not made out of precious metals. It's made out of cut acrylic. Bro. And Meredith. that's really cheap. <laughs> Meredith knows me. Meredith knows how I am with jewelry. If I own this, it would break in 2.5 seconds flat. Oh, your cats would. Oh yeah, it. This your would be just be on that. Yes. And yeah. every every AP lover in the whole world would simultaneously have a piece of their heart break. Yes, I will. I will incur psychic damage. That, if Jamie, yeah. if Jamie gets near a piece of AP jewelry, literally. <laughs> I actually don't wear my AP jewelry when I go to meets with Jamie because I'm too superstitious. <laughs> I can't imagine paying like three hundred and fifty dollars. No, for an Never. acrylic necklace. This person has to be rich, and if they're not, dude, are you okay? Are you okay? You don't have to spend this money. I I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get like, it. It's, it's cute and I, I get that it's like part of like I guess a really popular release and but I'm like it's a shooting star. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me plug the jewelry I'm wearing today because I actually love it. But this this is a acrylic Here, ring. We're gonna from, go ahead and do this. Oh yes. So this is a ring made Just of acrylic. It's gorgeous. And these so cute. are like the same type of earrings, right? So these cute. are from yes, these are from Whimsy K. Please go buy her stuff before it goes away, because I spent less than a hundred dollars on my order, and I got earrings and a ring. And I'm like, you don't have to do this to yourself. And it's got the same vibe, you know. Our Ooh. good old friend, our dear friend, Milky Chan the Fawn. I've seen Current this one. Bid. Yeah. Current bid, 350 euro, um, which is about Ugh. 419 do US dollars. That's, <laughs> that makes me like feel sick. It makes me sick to my stomach. I get this one slightly more because yeah. it's Milky Chan the Fawn, but yeah. only slightly more. <laughs> I, I like that it has a pearl chain yeah. that would like, yeah. help my personal situation um mm -hmm. <laughs> but oh my gosh four hundred dollars for a laser cut acrylic necklace just makes me want to vomit it's nuts like I'll, I'll bookmark a lot of these listings just to see them sell on the next day and it, wow it's insane like lace market lace market is quite the the environment right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're on the last listing. This is my absolute favorite. I think Jamie has seen this one before. Oh my god, I love this listing. <laughs> this is for three cursed <laughs> Meta Valletta Valettas. I'm sorry if I'm saying that Valettas. wrong. Valettas. Oh my god. Ah, there were five bidders. I love it. <laughs> there were five bidders. They did sell. I remember this. They sold. 
I would have um, bought them. And they sold for more than 13. It was around 20. Um, yeah. I love this. You don't get just one, but three cursed meta barrette clips for you and your friends. Please help <laughs> me get rid of these. I'm begging you. <laughs> I wonder if they were actually cursed. Um, they bought them from directly from Meta. I wonder if they took them home and weird stuff started happening. <laughs> Things started flying off the walls and they're like, it has yes. to be you. And they like fly <laughs> up and like come into your face and they're like, ha 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 ha. She like gets up in the middle of the night to get a drink of water. She turns on the light and they're like sitting on the counter. <laughs> There's like a message <laughs> written in red lipstick on the mirror, and it's like next to <laughs> one of them. <laughs> it's like you're next. <laughs> uh, I wonder if these are just cursed because they look like shit. <laughs> I like them low key. This is the kind of thing I would wear. I don't think they're that bad. No, they're really no. not. There's much they're more. Right. Like the body line yes. helicopter bows, like. <laughs> the bows that are like this big on they're, your head they're huge and then they're so flat and they lay like sideways literally so like this like, bow is huge and it's not even that bad it's from me like tea and i'm like i'm good this is it it looks good i like it thank you best i can do here man <laughs> lace marker reacts <laughs> trying to make it <laughs> Well, unfortunately, that's all the lace market I have for you guys today, but I would absolutely love to do this again. So if you see any cursed listings on lace market, please send them our way. <laughs> yes, you can send them to the Rose for a co page on Instagram or mm -hmm. me or Meredith on Instagram. Our handles are on the screen. You can send It'll them. It'll get there. to the right place. I promise. Just send them. <laughs> As just send them. Even if you don't want them in the video, just send them because I like them. I like want to laugh. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.